Are you having problems with your kitchen appliance? Don't know what that one error code means. You've come to the right place. Welcome to the Appliance Helper's Guide to Fixing Your Bosch Dishwasher. Today we'll be discussing error codes, troubleshooting, and more useful repair tips. Don't forget to check out our website for more information. There's a link in the description. Enjoy the video. If you're looking for help fixing your Bosch dishwasher, look no further. Our comprehensive Bosch dishwasher error code guide will explain common issues, provide tips, and show you how to read your model's error codes. Code E01, E02, E03, E04, E05. Problem. These false codes mean that the dishwasher has suffered a power module failure. The programming of replacement power modules has been locked down by Bosch so in the event of an error code of this type it's recommended that you contact a Bosch approved dishwasher engineer. Code. E06. Problem. Door mechanism problem. Fix. The sensor. Switch that detects whether the door is locked before starting a cycle is damaged or faulty. Check for obstructions and replace parts if necessary. Code. E07. Problem. Dish is not drying due to faulty fan. Code. E08. Problem. Water is not filling above level of heating element. Fix. Most likely a problem with the heating element. Or filling issue. Code. E09. Problem. Water heating problem. Most likely related to heating element. Code. E10. Problem. Heating element problem. Fix. Check for blockages. Build up. Lime scale that could be stopping water from interacting with the element properly. Code. E11. Problem. Thermostat or temperature sensor faulty. Fix. Replace faulty part if necessary. Code. E13. Problem. Water temperature exceeding 75 C. Fix. Have you connected your dishwasher to a hot water supply? If so switch to cold. Code. E14. Problem. Read switch flow sensor fault. Fix. Check contacts on the read switch connection are clean. Code. E15. Problem. Water leaking through to dishwasher base. Fix. Empty the base of water. If error occurs again then your dishwasher has a leak. Code. E16. Problem. Water inlet valve fault. Fix. Check inlet valve and water supply. Code. E17. Problem. Water level too high over fill. Code. E18. Problem. Water level too low under fill. Code. E20. Problem. Electrical short or break. Code. E21. Problem. Circulating pump blocked. Code. E23. Problem. As error code E20. But this time the electrical problem is with the drain pump. Fix. Replace the drain pump if necessary. Code. E24. Problem. Drain filters blocked. Fix. Clean the filters. Code. E25. Problem. Dishwasher not draining properly. Code. E26. Problem. Water switch. Regulator problem. Fix. Check water switch and replace if required. Code. E28. Problem. Fault detected with turbidity sensor. If you're looking for help fixing your Bosch dishwasher, look no further. Our comprehensive Bosch dishwasher troubleshooting guide will explain common issues, provide tips, and show you how to read your model's error codes. Are you having problems with your dishwasher and don't know how to solve them? Sometimes these inconveniences can be fixed easily by doing some routine maintenance tasks on your dishwasher. Follow these troubleshooting tips if you're having common dishwasher problems. Cleaning and descaling your dishwasher a few times a year will help remove greasy residues and hard water buildup and help improve cleaning efficiency. Maximize drying by using rinse aid and selecting the extra dry option. Clean your filter regularly to help improve cleaning. Load the dishes properly ensuring there's adequate space between items. Also, check to see if the spray arms can move freely after loading the dishwasher. No need to pre-rinse dishes before loading. Just make sure the food is scraped off the dishware. Detergent needs small food debris to cling to in order to work properly. If you're looking for help fixing your Bosch dishwasher, look no further. Our comprehensive Bosch dishwasher repair guide will explain common issues, provide tips, and maybe show you how to repair your appliance. For the home, kitchen, and beyond, Bosch manufactures appliances that homeowners have come to trust. Even a trustworthy appliance requires occasional maintenance or repair. However, if you're in need of Bosch appliance repair from experienced professionals, your local appliance helper can help. My Bosch dishwasher is not cleaning. Water inlet valve. The water inlet valve opens to allow water to enter the dishwasher. If the valve is clogged or defective, 
the dishwasher won't get enough water to clean dishes properly. If the water inlet valve is clogged, replace it. Do not attempt to clean the water inlet valve. Cleaning the valve could make it more likely to fail. Bosch dishwasher not draining. Drain impeller. The drain impeller pushes water through the drain hose and into the garbage disposer or drain line. If the impeller is broken, replace it. Bosch dishwasher buttons not working. Touchpad. First, confirm that the dishwasher display is working. If the display is still working, try pressing some of the touchpad buttons. If some of the buttons respond correctly but others don't, it is likely that the touchpad is at fault. Some manufacturers sell the touchpad separately from the control panel. Other manufacturers require that you purchase the touchpad and control panel together. If you cannot replace the touchpad individually, replace the touchpad and control panel. Bosch dishwasher lights flashing or blinking. Heating element. The heating element heats up the water to operating temperature. If the water doesn't reach the proper temperature after a set amount of time, a light on the control panel might start flashing. To determine if the heating element has burned out, use a multimeter to test it for continuity. If the heating element does not have continuity, replace it. Bosch dishwasher leaking. Water inlet valve. The water inlet valve opens to allow water to enter the dishwasher. If the water inlet valve is stuck open, the dishwasher will continue to fill with water until the dishwasher leaks or overflows. If the water inlet valve is at fault, replace it. Water inlet valves are not repairable. If the valve is defective, you must replace it. Bosch dishwasher leaking from motor area. Impeller and seal kit. First, try to determine the source of the leak. If the water is leaking from the motor shaft area, the motor shaft seal is likely defective. If the seal is defective, replace it. Some manufacturers sell the seal independently of the impeller. Other manufacturers require that you purchase the impeller and seal together. Still, other manufacturers require that you purchase the entire pump and motor assembly instead of the impeller and seal. It is usually more cost effective to replace the impeller and seal kit rather than the pump and motor assembly. Bosch dishwasher won't start. Door switch. The door switch prevents the dishwasher from running while the door is open. If the door switch is defective, the switch will prevent the dishwasher from running even when the door is closed. To determine if the door switch is at fault, use a multimeter to test the switch for continuity. If the switch does not have continuity, replace it. Bosch dishwasher won't latch. Door hinge. If the door hinges are damaged, the door won't be able to latch properly. Inspect the door hinges for damage. If a hinge is bent or broken, replace it. Bosch dishwasher dispenser not dispensing soap. Buy metal. The buy metal actuator is a metal loop that acts as a latch for the dispenser door. As electricity is applied to the buy metal, it deforms and bends away from the latch, releasing it. If the buy metal is burned out, it won't release the dispenser door. To determine if the buy metal has burned out, use a multimeter to test it for continuity. If the buy metal does not have continuity, replace it. In addition, make sure that the dishwasher is getting enough water. If the water level is too low, the wash motor may not draw enough current through the bimetal, causing the bimetal not to bend enough to work properly. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe. And stay tuned for more repair guides.